Okay, let's do a factory reset on this Moto G power. Uh, let's go to settings on the phone and at the bottom, let's go and find system. And um, in this section, let's go to advanced. And it is important that you know your backup account. Okay, so backup account, you should be, you should have a Google account associated with the phone. It is important that you know the password of this email address. So uh, make sure to go any computer or any other device that you have and log into your account and make sure that the um, password works properly because I have users in my channel saying that they are for sure that they have the right password, but somehow uh, it doesn't um, <clears throat> uh, accept when they enter the password. So make sure that you have the right one. Okay, let's go back to uh, the system and uh, reset options. And now let's go in and uh, check the erase all data. Factor reset. And you're gonna review that everything is gonna be deleted on this phone, including um, email addresses, web history, contacts. And after the factor reset with the same account, you will be able to retrieve your pictures, videos, uh, contacts, and done any purchased applications, okay? So let's go to um, at the <clears throat> bottom of the screen and check erase all data. Okay, you're gonna ask you to enter your password, pattern, or PIN. So just enter your password, pattern, or PIN and you will be able to uh, erase all data, okay? So once you um, uh, once you press the erase all data, will start automatically the uh, factor reset. So just go ahead and remove any external memory card to save files, okay? So just and then when you are ready, check the erase all. Factory data reset, you're gonna take a few minutes for the phone to work properly and take us the initial setup screen where we'll be able to um, register language and continue to the home screen. So just in case that your phone gets stuck on the um, Motorola logo or anything and doesn't take you the initial setup screen and uh, that means that something is wrong with the um, phone so just uh, you have to start over again with the same um, process to reset the phone but since you won't be able to uh, go back to the um, phone settings so you have to do a what we call hard reset okay so just um, um, let me show you something Okay, so just find my channel, uh, Clario Leadership His, and in my video section, you will f find a hard reset Moto G power. Okay, and follow those steps to reset the phone using external keys because you won't be able to uh, go back to the phone settings to do another reset. Uh, you can do the hard reset for up to 8 to 10 times to uh, calibrate the motherboard and you need to actually select a, a thing that calls wipe uh, the white cache partition and then um, white data factor reset. And the thing is that sometimes we uh, download so many game applications or music or so many web history and the uh, phone um, processor some get stuck with so many information and we we don't uh, reboot the phone at least five times a month and that's when the motherboard get ring it doesn't work properly so the way we're gonna do there is calibrate the motherboard so with the hard reset so to make the phone work properly but i hope that that's not your issue but if you get to this point to select your language so uh, these are the language that you can choose on this moto g power and also you're looking information about how many language this phone has these are the language that you can uh, use on it. So take your time and review each one of them and um, select your favorite language and then start. And I did, did remove my SIM card because uh, my SIM card is not activated. So, um, all right. And now this step, you want to see some uh, Wi-Fi available in your area. You can select that Wi-Fi or um to continue okay so now let's go in uh, select your uh, time zone so just time zone uh, the month select your month the day and hit ok to save 
um, time 3 p.m. or and then the minutes and choose a.m. or p.m. and hit OK to save. Okay, hit next to continue. And uh, every single um, Google services, I recommend you to leave this on because the location, uh, when you go to Google search engine, the first uh, result that you're going to get is the one based on your uh, phone location. So leave one down on, allows scanning any Wi-Fi available in your area. They will notify you to uh, save, um, so you can save um, your data package from your carrier. Okay, you get notified when you have any uh, um, update for your Android to stay up to date. So leave this one on, please. And uh, uh, just go at the bottom of the screen and accept each one of those items. Now you can um, go ahead and uh, uh, register a lock screen for your phone. Uh, and you can, if you touch here, you can see other options. You can use pattern, pin, or password uh, to lock your screen. Okay, so can skip this step because you can do it once you get to the home screen All right so Motorola terms and conditions such as uh, take your time and accept terms and conditions and uh, stay in touch with Motorola um, you can send requests or complaints with Motorola you can receive uh, news about Motorola anything for your Android so just enter your email address here and hit the next button <clears throat> excuse me carrier location access um grant permission so here allow all the time allow only while using the app or denying it's, uh, it's up to you okay accept terms and conditions <clears throat> and navigation screen with gestures uh, a small tutorial how to use it <clears throat> okay i like the buttons instead of gesture so it's up to you um, you can change this once you get to the home settings phone settings and um, uh, i'm gonna do a tutorial how to change that anyways so um, search my tutorials here in this channel like i said on my video sec section find about motorola g power um, screen navigation and you can choose any or how to do it. So if you want to change this, you can go straight to um, to settings of the phone. Okay, so this is how to factor reset this Motorola G Power. I hope that this uh, tutorial was kind of helpful for you. Let me know if you have any other questions. And please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.